everybody. Folks, my next guest tonight... My next guest tonight does what I do, but with a charming accent. Please welcome the host of The Graham Norton Show, Mr. Graham Norton. Yeah. Did, did they did they all Google me before I came out? <laughs> yeah, they they seem to know who I am. We handed out uh, <laughs> pamphlets yeah. explaining. Info oh, sheets. Everybody knows. They, we watch you online. We watch you online. Oh, well, thank yeah, you. Nice to see you again. Lovely to see you. I admire your show, your skill, but I also admire the fact that uh, on your television you can wear colorful things. What? Well, <laughs> you look lovely. You look no, lovely. I'm afraid my, this I bought myself. Oh, no. Yes, I know. This oh, is model's no. own. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know where I got my glasses. <laughs> uh, you hey, look sharp, though. You thank, look sharp. So do you. So yeah. do you. Um, the last time you were here, you said one of the differences between uh, shows over in England and shows here, your show and my show, is that you get your guests boozed up. Well, not boozed up. We offer them a drink. Like, is this still water? It is, but... Because... We have <gasps> something for you. If you want. That's if you want. a welcome. Which, I, I don't mean to... Well, don't know. I'd love some. This is some of that. Have you got ice, or are we like animals? No, no, no. Oh, no we have animals. Ice. Oh, yeah. No, I have one cube of ice. <laughs> one cube of ice will be very European. One okay, cube of ice nice. Right there. Are you, would you like a lot? Are you rationing ice now? Oh no, I just don't want to <laughs> okay. freak you out by having more than one ice cube in your Oh yeah, glass. no, I know. Go. I'm from lime? the UK. You like the lime? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what uh, is this? What is that? <laughs> ice. Okay, there you go. Mm-hmm. It's what sank the Titanic. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. You should steer clear. There you go. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Uh, to, um, to, uh, well, to, to talking for a living. Yes, thank you very mm. much. <laughs> it's... Mm. Mm. That is tasty. That, that is, is so tasty. smooth. Mm -hmm. It is weird, though, that two talk show hosts shouldn't really meet. This is like dogs sniffing around each other, isn't it? It's just like... <laughs> yes. It's, it's kind you, of wrong. You smell delightful, I must <laughs> yes. say. So do exactly. you. Exactly. So like, do I you. promise not to hump your leg. <laughs> now, yeah. um, you live in the UK. I do. Can you explain what the hell is going on over there? Because we've all been watching, like, questions of the Prime Minister. We've all been watching Parliament for the last few days. It's absolute chaos. It's... Nuts, isn't it? Because you don't normally see that. You don't normally see the inside of Parliament. Yes. Where it is just bedlam. Absolute bedlam. Yes. But I think, in a sweet way, it's as if the United Kingdom was embarrassed for America. <laughs> felt, <laughs> felt like you're all alone out in the world stage. So we found our own angry Cabbage Patch Kid <laughs> and, <laughs> and made him the leader. It's incredible. It's like, you know, the G7, suddenly you felt like Don is a friend. <laughs> you know, they, they, they could hang out together. It was like a play date. Boris Johnson looks like such a cheap knockoff of Donald Trump that he looks like someone in Times Square pretending to be Donald Trump. You yes. Have your photo with. Yeah. Out there. Like, he... How is he... I wouldn't trust him to water my plants when I was away. Mm -hmm. But somehow he is the, prime, the prime Minister. Now explain this to me. He lost oh, I so his can't. Majority. I so can't explain anything. But wait, but, but you can explain anything about how your government works, uh, because <laughs> parliamentary system, the Prime Minister is the leader of the majority in Parliament. Yes. But he lost his majority two days ago. Why is he still the Prime Minister? Well, because... Well, what he cleverly did was, he said, if anyone votes against me in my party, yeah. uh, I will fire you. So, Kick you out of the party. Yeah. So they did vote against him, so he fired them. But as he fires them, his majority gets less and less and less. <laughs> so it's like, it's like he's just out of, out of, sort of, it's like he's drilling holes in his own ship out of yes. spite. Sure, sure. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, look, there's a word called pirogue. He, you know, prorogues mm, the parliament. Delicious. Which is like oh. shutting down the Sour parliament. Sour cream. A I know. Applesauce. It, yeah. No one had heard this word before. Prorogue. I think that's the word. Maybe and he it's went not to the, the queen word. and said, Can I prorogue? Yeah. And you feel like even the queen didn't know that word. She was yes. like, One should prorogue? I, like, is that the one with the finger? I yes. don't know. Like, I... 
<laughs> no, I've got to go I, back. I didn't, know, I, yeah. I didn't know there was anything that she actually could do legally. I thought she was just no, a, she a had, very nice tourist trap. She is a nice tourist trap, and if she had to say yes, she couldn't... She can't she, say no. She can't say no. <laughs> that queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've been, you've been on TV. You've been on TV for 20 years. <laughs> And one of the things it that seems people unlikely, doesn't one it? of the things that people don't necessarily understand about shows like this is that there's what everybody sees, and there's everything that happens backstage. There's a whole other show that's basically happening yes. to each other. Yeah. You know, the guests and have demands. What are, what are some of the most extraordinary things that you've ever had a guest? What's sort of the oddest things a guest has asked for? The one that kind of you know because you get used to it, but the one that kind of took our breath away, and I cannot say who this was. Uh, it was Madonna, wasn't it? It was wasn't. Mad okay. It wasn't Madonna. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, no, it really wasn't. <laughs> uh, this person, who will remain nameless... Uh, oh, I'll go she. <laughs> she... Well... <laughs> All right, go What's ahead. What's going on? I've fallen... I've fallen for my own trick. No! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so she she wanted for herself nine dressing rooms, right? Nine dressing rooms. So you know, we go fine. Here's your nine dressing rooms, and then that afternoon, I'm sitting in the production office, and one of her minions comes down the thing. In it, it's a nine one one situation. We need another dressing room. So uh, Catherine, the line producer, she's very organised. She gets on the phone. I'll get you another dressing room. And while she's on hold, she goes out of interest, just out of interest. <laughs> Why does she need uh, another dressing room? Oh, she wants to charge her cell phone. <laughs> we live like animals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she had to charge herself in a different room? Yes, of course! <laughs> Who charges their phone in the room they're in? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say this was Judy Dench. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. got me! You got me! Well, you, you, now you've got your second novel. It's called... A keeper. Yeah. Where do you find the time? You do a talk show. Where do you find the time to actually write a novel at the well, same time? Because sometimes I'm surprised that I have. But actually, what it is, is this is my hobby. This isn't my job. I'm not a novelist. I. But what? what Are I the things you like more about this than actually doing a talk show? Well, there's the there's the thing. Well, you know this. That in anything we do, there has to be a meeting. Nothing. Sure. You decide very little. Exactly. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Until I mean, the last minute. Yeah, yes, it's until now. So it's, it's just that this is a solitary occupation, and I love that. I love being in a room by myself in the world with these characters. The books are set in Ireland, and, you know, I spend my summers there, and so it's quite nice to be in London, in my office, and going back to Ireland in my head. Pretending? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's lovely. This helps, too. Oh, Cheers. doesn't it, though? <laughs> Cheers. Well, A Keeper is available now. Graham Norton, everybody. We'll be right back.